Hello everyone. You're yeah, welcome to my QuickBook uh, training class. Today we are going to be handling uh, sales order. This is uh, sales order. Now, if you don't see this on your screen, it's because while creating a company file, you did not enable sales order. So, but even after that, you can still go ahead to enable it under this edit menu. Click on preferences then click on sales customer under sales customer go to company preferences you can see we are I already enabled sales order by checking it so if you've done that if you do, if you don't have it it means it is not checked you can come here and check okay now let's discuss on the importance of sales order sometimes your customer make an order in advance so that they come and get those goods from you on a later date so for you not to disappoint them and run out of stock, it's important to create a sales order because if you create a sales order and you want to now sell out of that uh, stock, it will, QuickBook will inform you, we warn you that there is a sales order on this item. So quickly before we go there, I want us to check some reports. Uh, secondly, purchase order, sales order and estimate doesn't affect your uh, books of accounts your chart of accounts it doesn't affect any of them they are non-posting so anytime you enter this transaction they are just there they are just hanging waiting for you to execute them you understand so let's go to sales order now before going to sales order i want to show us some reports first of all i want to show us customer and the receivable let me show you our customer balance customer balance means uh the debt that customers are owing us you understand they are standing the they are standing claim that we are supposed to make from customers that is what customers order is all about so now let's check on this day on the on the first of december as of today and i will refresh i want to change the dates and refresh now you can see that we don't have any balances here on our customer balance summary that is one we are going to come back here to check then secondly secondly let's also check sales sales by item summary now i'll click on sales by item summary and uh, today's date you can see that there is no transaction for today so why am i showing us these things i want to show so that at the end of the day while creating them you will see that there is no any effect that this transaction would uh, uh, cause so now uh the third one let me go let me still go back now let's go to inventory uh stock status by item so i click on that also uh first december you can see that we have 170 quantity of uh, bread on hand so let's take note of these three uh let's take note of these three uh reports so now let's go back home if you want to check on if you want to go back there we already have okay click on home then you click on sales order so we want to create a sales order now so now we are going to create a sales order for customer so this is where you select your customer if you don't have you can add new so that is that now uh today's date is first of uh, december 2022 it's, it's selected already uh the sales order number is 002 you can apply any number you think fits okay then let's select the item bread we selected bread now we ordered the the customer ordered for 10 so click on any other place so that the valuation we apply so you can see that is twenty thousand. uh this tax here is a uh, is a non-taxable okay now if you have any if you want to send a copy of this sales order to your customer you can apply some messages here by adding messages by adding new so that is that now we are done with the sales order we can now save and close now after saving and close let's go back to our report to see if any of them have been affected now to go back to the report we've opened three reports already so we can click on open windows so when you click on open windows it will show us the report so you can see first of all we have inventory stock status so let's click on inventory stock status. it will ask you for refresh because you've did you've carried out a transaction so we are going to refresh this uh, report now so click on yes so once you click yes now you see that here quantity on hand is 170 and 
sales order is 10. So you see sales order is 10, while quantity on hand is 170. So an available is 160. That is to say, out of this 170 that we have, they've ordered for 10. Now we only have 160. Now you've not sold them. How do you know if you've not sold them? Now let's go to sales by item summary. Once you click on sales by item summary, you also refresh because you carry out a transaction. Now you can see today is first, and that transaction was first, and there is nothing appearing here. It means it has not been posted because it is a sales or that is a non posting item. So now let's go to customer balance summary. Now, under customer balance summary, we can also see that there is no balance there. It means what we just did now did not affect any of our uh, uh, books of accounts. You understand? So now let's go and try, let's try to create. Uh, Let's try to now uh, create an invoice so that we can see the effect of this particular sales order. So I want to create an invoice. Uh, I want to create an invoice for let's say another customer name at, and this same date to this date. So now I'm selecting the item. I'm selecting the item. Bread. I've selected bread now remember we have quantity available as 160 so let me type 161 even by one let me type 161 even by one so that we'll see uh what this sales order is going to tell us you can see now it's telling that you don't have sufficient quantity available to sell 161 you understand now the quantity on hand is 170 the quantity on the other sales order is 10 so quantity available is 160. now you can see that quickbook is helping us should in case we've forgotten so that we don't now disappoint our customer at the end of the day because we've already made an they've already made an order we're supposed to also give them this order so you can see from this end uh everything is there set now let's say we want to uh go for uh let me let me delete, let me clear this transaction then let's say i want to go for 160. now you see that it, you see what difference is so click on name art, then also click on the item which is bread then also click on 160 now let's see if it will tell us that we have anything you can see that it allowed me you see the transaction can go because we have 160 available thanks you guys thanks for attending this class hope you guys enjoyed the class if you have any question please place on the comment section uh and turn on uh, the notification uh then subscribe so that you get notified of any other new videos i'm making so thanks and bye